Hey Derby World! Well, we are out here at the summit. It is Ohio's first indoor derby, I think, or certainly if not the first. Um, this year's only one that I'm aware of. So we're out here in Talmadge, Ohio. This event is put on by Fair Derby. If you guys have ever seen our Days of Reckoning show that we try to film every year, they unfortunately got rid of that event this year, but they went ahead and added this one instead. So it's inside an arena, um, similar to, you know, like a bluegrass um, and those kind of just, you know, basically a convention center with the roof on. Um, you'll see it, it's a pretty good track. Um, today we've got the bone V8 bone stock running first, then there's front wheel windshield cars, open class. They have a 6,000 pound class, which is basically, the only rules for that is the car has to be under 6,000 pounds. So that'll be interesting to see. Um, they've got a mid-size heat, um, front wheel drive team class, uh, no protector team class, engine swap, full-size cars, and then full-size trucks. So we're out here in the, um, the lineup area. I believe these are the 6,000 pound cars because they are just crazy. Look at all that. You got kickers going all the way to the front bumper, kickers going to the kickers, from the kickers. Um, and the, basically, yeah, the only rules on this thing was it has to be under 6,000 pounds. So you're going to see a lot of interesting creativity. Um, these cars are not going to bend the same way that uh, normal cars would. Um, and then this one, we've got the uh, full frame imp here where he's got a very similar story. He's got kickers going all the way up to the cage bar, um, all kinds of plating. And I think depending on which car you choose could dictate how well it does. Um, he's got bars going all the way up from the rear bumper up to that back bar. Wow, okay. So that'll be pretty wild. I kind of am excited about this class because derby cars have gotten a little too out of hand in some classes as far as I'm concerned. So this build um, leans itself to some creativity, but still have to drive the things. Get you a front row and center. <laughs> So are these all the 6,000 pound cars then? Yep. How are we doing? Good. Ready to give this class a try? So yeah, I've never seen a rule set like this where it's literally just weight is the only rule. So I know they've definitely have seen wrong what you brought and those kind of things, but we'll see. Wow, there's a whole bunch of cars out here. We'll get them. Get them all captured real quick. All right, so I don't know for sure because nothing's labeled over here, but I think these are the bumper swap uh, full size, or if not this row, certainly the next row is. Or motor swap, I guess, sorry. So some old iron making its way out here. It was raining earlier, so people, some of them got them tarped and being smart. That's what I'd be doing. Got a wagon here. That's an old Ford wagon, maybe. I 
old iron coming into this class. Don't always see the old iron anymore. We're running some of these more stockish rules. tight here but I'll try to give these guys a good show. These might be uh, no protector team cars if I had to guess. These are some more team cars right here. more of like a super stock style rule. You can definitely modify things if you can't get too curious. I believe this is probably the open windshield compacts or front wheel drive I guess is the rules they use. These are very stock build. Uh, you can do snow tires, swap them over. don't know exactly the count of each class and I think there's people still working to get through inspection at this point but these are the ones all staged and ready so we're gonna get them if I miss you then I'm sorry all right here we've got the full-size trucks now this set of rules is more of I would consider like a pro stock slash verging on the mod truck rules um, you can do quite a bit as you'll see, but they still can bend because you can't get can't get straight frames. A lot of super duties, excursions, uh, three-quarter ton trucks. I don't know if they allowed one ton or not, but I do know they at least ran the three quarters. These rules keep expanding because even back when we ran our Suburban in this style class, you couldn't do half of what they're doing now. So this ought to be all pretty tough. Actually, they're running them last, and I hear that that's because they're concerned about them potentially breaking the barriers within the indoor venue, but um, hopefully that's actually kind of the case because these guys can get pretty rowdy in trucks. Got a few more trucks tucked in here. I see this one's kind of sitting by itself. Uh, with no line up behind it. Uh, super duty looks to be with a bed swap of some kind. Simple 4x4 bumper. I think um, we can get to the other side here in a second to actually get these in frame. I'll 
they passed inspection, they allowed them to park indoors last night, so they, most of these didn't get super wet in the rain downpouring they had. But probably gonna see some water splashing around too. All right, let's get the next row. These are some of the front wheel drive team cars. cars there. I'm a little surprised at how many cars are back at their pits because the show starts in about an hour or two, I guess, two hours. But it's still cutting kind of close. Alright, and then here is the actual track right here. So they're doing the, the front wheel drive inspection inside here. As you can see, it's completely enclosed. There is bleachers along all the sides, except for this open end. Uh, they got big exhaust fans at the end. It's going to force the air out. We're just hoping for good ventilation. Uh, and we're going to be rolling here in about an hour and a half. All right, we're getting over by the inspection area. These guys got sticks and ready. Uh, we'll keep getting safe. Try to finish it off. There we go. Thank you. Well, 
get destroyed today. Alright, we're just gonna kinda wander the pits and see who we see at this point. Still got cars showing up, some with sticks, some without. So yeah, that's the venue right there, the big building behind us. It is fully under the roof. I got big fans on the one end and big doors on the other, so we're optimistic that the ventilation is going to be what they say it's supposed to be. Again, a little bit of everything from a car standpoint. Figuring out where everybody's been hiding. Here we got Mad Mike and family, their team cars. Don't see any sticks yet though. How are you doing, Chris? It's fucking beautiful. Uh, I think we got this one up at the inspection line, but... How are you doing? Pretty good, how are you? Good. Some, uh, the no protector team cars right here. <laughs> Okay, we're getting to the uh, back pit area. Looks like most of these cars are pretty well cleaned out, but we'll see if there's anybody else hiding in here. A whole bunch of uh, thermal drives tucked in here. Last minute work and uh, Sickles came and brought his one of his cars here. We got a truck still on the trailer, so this looks pretty tough though. Well, it looks like one of the last cars. Yeah, it's a good looking truck. Let's see how she does. Hopefully he gets a stick. Alright, and we've gone full circle. So here's the lineup that we already filmed. 
So here we are out here at the, um, the Summit Indoor Derby put on by Fair Derby Promotions. Um, definitely going to have all the videos up here. When you see this one, you'll be quick to see all the rest. Um, should be a pretty good show. There's, I think, like eight heats in total. And if they run a pace like they typically do at a Fair Derby, um, we'll be in okay shape to hopefully get out of here at a reasonable time. But we'll find out. It's all about how these guys decide to drive. Man, there's cars still rolling in, so I don't know. Starting on time is even going to be practical. Uh, but again, out here at the summit in Telmage, Ohio, for him signing out.